Welcome to the New York Cannabis Local Map, your go-to resource for navigating the local cannabis landscape with ease and efficiency. As the cannabis industry continues to grow and evolve, having the right tools and information is crucial for staying ahead. Our local map resource is designed specifically for stakeholders like you, whether you're a grower, retailer, distributor, advocate, or just data curious, to help you connect, collaborate, and thrive in this emerging and colorful market. We will review a variety of topics today, but you can expect a walkthrough of search for businesses by license type, local dispensaries, C businesses, viable locations, opt-out jurisdictions, and more. There's so much to go through. Let's get started. To access local, please visit local.cannabis.ny.gov from any browser or device. When the application first loads, you will be met with a splash screen giving you two options, a retail dispensary map and the full featured version of local. For these training videos, let's choose the full featured version. Now let's familiarize ourselves with the layout of the application. In the top right corner of the map window, you will see a small square button that will give you access to the map's legend and layers. Let's begin with the legend. Map icons represent the various license and location types in the OCM cannabis ecosystem. This includes cultivators, processors, distributors, micro-businesses, retailers, medical dispensaries, and co-located medical dispensaries. These icons are categorized into three separate buckets, active, which are green, inactive, which are red, and pending, which are orange. At launch, only the active and pending layers will be present. An icon in the active section of the legend represents a licensed application. An icon in the inactive section represents a licensed application that has reached a terminal status. And finally, an icon in the pending section represents applications currently under review that have had the location section approved by OCM. Please note, as these applications make their way through the application process, those granted licenses will appear in the active section and those that are denied, withdrawn, or void will be removed from the map. Now let's move to layers. The layers in local represent points of interest or geographies. Point of interest layers include active licensees, pending licensees, inactive licensees, places of worship, and public and private schools. Geographic layers include unserved and underserved census tracts, which pertain to registered organizations, municipalities, which are cities, towns, and villages, along with their corresponding population and opt-out status, other geographic layers include New York City community districts, police precincts, New York State Assembly and Senate districts, regional economic development councils, and New York State counties. On the left-hand side of the application, you will see a search box where you can enter an address. Below that, you will see four tabs, locate, search, filter, and prox report. The Locate tab will display a 1,000-foot default buffer for the addresses searched and include information on the various layers and relevant data points for those layers that appear within the distance buffer. The Search tab will allow you to search the active and pending layers by various attributes and geographic data points. You can also search for licensees belonging to specific C categories, such as distressed farmers or women-owned businesses. The filter tab contains eight preset filters that you can use to change the map. Use any combination of these filters to quickly view the map for suppliers, retailers, open retailers, medical dispensaries, or C businesses. The last tab is a prox report. This is where you can generate a report based on the address that you have searched. Simply click the green button that says run report to generate, but more on that later. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a green tab Click on that button to expand the data table at the bottom of the application. Here you can cycle through all of the layers and data associated with these layers. You can use the search function in the top left corner to search the data table by any column appearing in the table for that layer. Click the green tab to collapse the table. The final stop on our tour of local is the helpful information tab. On the right hand side of the application, click the green tab to display a few helpful links. There are some quick links to program specific data points found within local, a link to the office's incident report form, as well as a link to the current OCM licenses data set on the New York State Open Data website. If you are an applicant or licensee with a retail or medical location in mind, the proximity report is a tool for you. 
The proximity report is specifically crafted to alleviate much of the stress of evaluating a location's viability. To generate a report, enter an address in the search bar in the top left-hand corner. Next, click the Prox Report tab. You should see a green button that reads Run Report followed by the address that you have searched. Click this button and the proximity report will generate in a new tab. The proximity report is broken up into a few different sections. In the first section, you will find geographic information on the address you have searched. This includes the date the report was generated on, the address, the latitude and longitude, the municipality and county the address is in, along with the opt-out status and population of that municipality. If the address you search is in New York City, the proximity report will display the community district you should contact when filing your municipal new notification. The next two sections of the report display the active and pending licenses within 1,000 or 2,000 feet of the address that you have searched. The report will dynamically apply the correct distance threshold based on the population found in the first section of the report. If there is a proximity protected location within the distance threshold, you will see the entity name, license type, license type code, license or application number, address, and the approximate distance of the location from your proposed address. Please keep in mind the distances found in this report are approximated using industry standard GIS techniques and do not reflect actual distances between points of entry. For a more accurate measurement, you may want to utilize a secondary tool such as Google Maps Street View to view points of entry. You can then use the local or Google Maps measurement tool to measure the distances more accurately between the two sites. Also, since the distances are approximations, you may want to double check local for anything just outside of the appropriate distance threshold that may fall within based on an entrance to entrance measurement. Using the measurement tool. For those interested in conducting more accurate measurements than the approximations given by local, you can use the measurement tool. Under the layers button in the top right corner of the map is a ruler icon. Click this icon to open the measurement widget. Click anywhere on the map to begin your measurement, then double click to end the measurement. Once the measurement is complete, feel free to change to the desired unit of measurement to get your accurate distance. The next two sections of the proximity report deal with statutory requirements laid out in the MRTA. Any houses of worship within 200 feet and schools within 500 feet will appear alongside their approximate distance. Please remember to check a secondary source for any houses of worship or schools that may not be included on the local map. Again, Google Maps is a good resource for this. Also note that there are other factors to take into consideration as it relates to your proposed address and the nearby houses of worship or schools. This includes same street, corner lot, setback, and exclusive use parameters. The next section of the report will list any known public youth facility within 500 feet. Please make sure to double check with your local municipality to determine if any public youth facilities exist within 500 feet of your proposed location. The final section of the report will list the 10 nearest dispensaries, which will help you assess your competition in the immediate area. At the top of the report, you can click the print report button to print out the report or save it as a PDF. To search a location in local, enter your address into the search box in the top left corner of the application. Let's use the Empire State Building as an example. The map will pan to the location and draw the default 1,000 foot buffer around the address. The Locate tab will then calculate the number of data points found in each layer within that buffer. To change the buffer, simply enter a new distance or change the unit of measurement using the dropdown. To get more information on the data points of interest and geographies within the buffer, click on the desired layer to expand for more details. For example, if I click the municipalities layer, I see that the address I searched is in the city of New York, which has not opted out of retail or on-site consumption licensing. I also see that the population of New York City is 8.7 million, which is well above the 20,000 population threshold for a 1,000 foot buffer to apply. I can also see that there are three active licenses within 1,000 feet of the Empire State Building. To bring up details on these licensees, I can expand the active licenses section in the locate tab to see premise details, license details, and operating activities of these licensees. You may also interact with the icons on the map to display these details. Please note, cultivator and micro businesses with cultivation and no retail have had their operating addresses redacted. To look up details on these records, simply find the icon in the center point of each 
county boundary to cycle through the cultivators and micro businesses that are located somewhere within that county. You will notice that the Locate tab displays information on all of the layers that are present within the buffer that you've selected, but you may not see these layers visually on the map. The default enabled layers on local are active licensees, pending licensees, places of worship, public and private schools, New York City community districts, and New York State counties. Remember to open your layer panel and toggle the layers that you would like to see or hide. If you wish to export the results of the address search, you can do so by clicking the icon that contains an upward pointing arrow. You can do this for all layers at once or any individual layer. For applicants and licensees that want to look up their own information, you can do so in two ways. The first way is to click on the search tab. If you are a licensee, select search active licenses. If you are an applicant, select search pending licenses. In each of these menus, you can search things like entity name, DBA, license number, application number, and more. Once you have the chosen criteria, click apply and the map will pan to the record if it can be found on local. The second way to search your information is to open up the data table using the green tab that is located at the bottom of the screen. Click on the appropriate layer, active or pending, and use the search bar to search by any column shown in the table. If the record is in the data set, click the record and the map will pan to the location on the map. If you cannot find your information using these two methods, please contact licensing for more information on your application. If you're an assembly person, senator, local official, or just data curious, local offers you the ability to search and assess a range of geographies across New York State. You have two options for searching geographies. The first option is through a map interaction. In this example, let's look at the cannabis landscape in the city of Albany. Our first step is to enable the municipalities layer on the map. Simply navigate to the layers and legend button in the top right corner of the screen. In the layer tab, click the crossed out eye icon next to the municipalities layer. The layer will now appear on the map with a series of white, red, blue, and purple polygons that are filled in by opt out status. Pan over to the city of Albany and click on the underlying polygon. A pop up will display showing you the name of the municipality, opt out description, and total population based on the latest ACS five year survey. Above the table, you will see an icon with four small circles. Click that icon and select Set Location. The Location tab will begin compiling the information for the City of Albany. Please note the default distance buffer is set to 1,000 feet. To get true counts, change the buffer to zero. The second option is through the data table. In this example, I am interested to see the cannabis landscape in Assemblywoman People Stokes' district. Like the first option, let's begin by enabling the layer we wish to search by. So I will navigate to the Layers and Legend button and unhide the New York State Assembly District layer. Now I will open the data table at the bottom of the application by clicking on the green tab. Next, we will click on the New York State Assembly Districts tab and search by any column displayed in the table. If I type in Stokes, you will see the table dynamically filter appropriately. Then just left click on the record in the table. The map will pan and the locate tab will compile the results. Again, please note the default distance buffer is set to 1000 feet. To get the true counts, change the buffer to zero feet. And remember that you can export the locate tab results by clicking the upward pointing arrow on any individual layer or all results as a whole. To clear my results in the locate tab, click the trash can icon under the unit of measurement dropdown. To unselect a record in the data table, click the clear selection button in the top right corner within the data table panel. The icon displays a dotted line with an X. 
If you are data curious or looking to dive into some of the information provided on local, this walkthrough will cover all of the capabilities of the data table. You can find the data table by clicking the green tab in the bottom center portion of the application. Each layer in local will, will be displayed in the data table. Click the desired tab to pull up the information in that layer. The search bar in the top left corner can be used to search by any column in the data set. The top right portion of the data table gives us several options, which include show selection, clear selection, refresh, show hide columns, and actions. The show and clear selection options will change your view inside of the data table. For example, let's select a record in the municipalities layer and see the cannabis landscape in the city of Syracuse. If I open the data table and resize the pane so it's more readable, I can click on the municipalities tab and type in Syracuse in the search bar. Three options show up. I will click on the city of Syracuse. I can click on the show selection button to display my selected record. I can go back to the three options by clicking the show selection button once more. If I clear the search text, now the data table will show all records in the data table. I can use this toggle to go back and forth between what I have selected and the rest of the data in the layer. If I want to clear my selection, simply click the clear selection button to revert the table back to its original state. For the most part, each layer displays a set selection of columns to display. However, you do have the ability to show or hide whichever columns you desire to see inside the data table. You can achieve this by clicking the Show Hide Columns button. Say we want to add processor type to the active layer. Click the Show Hide button and check off processor type field. The column has now been added to the view. The action buttons give us access to several commands which include set filter, zoom to set location, pan to, and export. The most common choices are set filter and export. Let's see this in action. For this example, let's look to the landscape of municipalities where a 2,000 foot buffer would be applicable. This means the population is less than 20,000. If I click on the municipalities tab, then actions, and choose set filter, I can add a clause for POP 2020 that is less than 20,000. To apply the filter, click the toggle next to the layer name. Now if we sort by population, we see the highest value remaining in the data set is 19,969. I can export the results by selecting Actions, Export, and choosing the desired file type. To clear the filter, go back to Set Filter and X out of the filter term or disable the toggle. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to the local map, your essential tool for navigating New York's cannabis landscape. Whether you're a business owner, licensee, applicant, elected official, data curious, or simply exploring the industry, local map provides you the insights and connections you need. With its intuitive interface and extensive data, staying ahead in this evolving market has never been easier. For more detailed information, check out the local map user guide link in the description below. Thank you.